Hi students! Welcome back to my Estrong Techie YouTube channel. Today is another day for another interesting lesson. This is the last lesson of 21st century literature from the Philippines and the World's Quarter 1, which will run for two weeks for week 7 to 8. Are you ready? Now, without further ado, let's get started. Sit back, relax, learn, and keep on watching. Studying literature can be very easy with the right amount of knowledge gained from your studies in the past. Let's have a review of our previous lesson. Can you still recall lesson 6? How do you define anecdotes? What are the purposes of anecdotes? What lesson does the anecdote in Home of the Ashfall convey? Well, class, if you have remembered our previous lesson, let's move on to the next and be motivated for the discovery of this lesson. I want you to take a look of this picture. Observe. Are you familiar with them? What can you say about the picture? Right. Correct. They are examples of a short story. And before we begin the lesson, let's take note of our target aim at the end of the lesson. After going through the lesson, you are expected to First, demonstrate understanding of a short story. Second, analyze a short story by identifying its basic elements. Third, Appreciate the use of multimedia in sharing the lessons learned from a short story. And fourth, perform a self or peer assessment in evaluating one's work. Now, let us proceed on defining short story. A short story is a brief fictional prose narrative that is shorter than a novel and that usually deals with only a few characters. A short story has six basic elements that you as a reader should look for when analyzing one. Every story begins with the seed of an idea. Hence, the author should think of these basic elements when writing a story. Although not all stories put equal importance on every aspect, each of these elements must be expected in the story. Before we further discuss short story and its elements, I want you to read the story Sinigang. You can find it from your module or you can watch it here in YouTube and the link is in the description box. Study these questions before reading or watching the short story. First question, where did the story happen? 2. Who are the characters in the story? 3. What do you think? led to the emotional separation of Lisa from her father. 4. What was the most interesting part of the story? 5. What was the story about? 6. Who narrated the story? Because these questions will lead us in identifying the elements of a short story. Come back to this video lesson if you are done reading or watching Sinigang. I'll be waiting for you. I do hope you understood and liked the short story Sinigang. Now, let's see what are the six basic elements of a short story. Let us begin with character. A character in a short story is a person, in some stories an animal, who takes part in the action of the story or other literary work. The way an author develops the character in a story is very important in making the story appeal to the readers. It is said, that the heart of the story are the characters. The two most important characters in a short story are the protagonist and the antagonist. Let's differentiate the two. The protagonist is considered as the main character or most important of all the characters. It is the character who learns something or undergoes some changes 
throughout the course of the story. Some stories depict the protagonist as the hero of the story, while in other stories, the protagonist is not considered a hero as he has done nothing heroic. In any case, the story always revolves around the protagonist. How about the antagonist? The antagonist is the character that challenges the main character. It has no concern for the well-being of the main character, and the antagonist may be a person, the nature, the society, or any intangible matter that contends with or creates a problem for the protagonist. Now, going back to the story, who are the characters in the short story Sinigang? Can you identify them all? Next, we have the setting. Familiar with Once Upon a Time? That's it! That is actually the setting. It is the place or locale and time or period when the story happens. The setting may be based on a real place and real time, or it may also be based on the author's imagination. Where and when did the story Sinigang happen? The third element of a short story is the plot. It is the actual story. It is what the story is all about. It is also the series of events and characters' actions that lead to the highest point of interest in a short story. The following are the different parts of a story's structure. 1. Exposition 2. Rising action 3. Climax 4. Falling action and 5. Resolution Let's go deeper on each one. First, exposition. This is the beginning of the story. This is where the author introduces the characters, identifies where the story is happening, and establishes the main conflict. How did the story Sinigang begin? That is the exposition of its story. Next, we have rising action. This event occurs as you begin to move throughout the story. This is where also the conflicts start to build. What was the event in the story? before the conflict arised. That is the rising action of the story you have read or watched earlier. Next, we have Climax. It is the most exciting part of a short story. This is the part in the story when important decisions are made or important things are discovered. What was the most interesting part of the story? Or what was the story's peak and highest point? It is definitely its climax. Fourth, we have falling action. This point occurs after the climax as the problems in the story start to work themselves out. The excitement becomes less and less as the conflict is resolved. What was the event in the story after the climax? That is the falling action. And last, we have resolution. This is the solution to the problem in a story. The solution may not be what you hoped for, but as long as it fits the story in tone and theme, the conflict has been resolved. How is the conflict solved in the story? That is the resolution part of the plot. Fourth element of the story, we have conflict. Every story needs to have a problem and this problem is called conflict. The main character, also called the protagonist, needs to have someone or something to challenge him. Without conflict, the story will not go anywhere and will not be very interesting to the readers. The main character may be faced with one of the four different types of conflict. These four types of conflict are as follows. Man versus man, man versus nature, man versus himself, and man versus society. Fifth element. Theme. This is the central idea in a short story and the general truth as well. This is considered as the author's message to the readers. Let's have few examples. If a story's theme refers to a central idea, we can talk about this statement, love is patient. If a general truth, regrets are always at the end, is an example. For an author's message, he may send as the theme the importance of family. Or, a theme can be just any idea, just like fear, happiness, optimism, war, learning, peace, and many more. Anything under the sun actually can be a theme of a short story. Let's have the last element of the short story, which is point of view 
or POV. If you are a reader of Wattpad stories, you already know it. Point of view is the way the story is told or narrated. It is also known as the vantage point that a writer uses to narrate the story. The following are the types of point of view in a short story. The first person, limited third person, and omniscient third person. What is the first person POV? The narrator as the first person participates in and tells the story using the pronoun I. It is the easiest to determine because of the pronoun I as the author narrates for himself. How about limited third person? The narrator here is not in the story and narrates using the pronouns she or he. Also, the narrator is unable to see into the minds of the characters. And lastly, we have omniscient third person. The narrator is not in the story as well, just like limited third person, and tells the story using the pronouns she or he, but in this point of view, the narrator can tell the thoughts of the characters as he can see into their minds. Yay! We're done with our lesson. Now, let me give you additional ideas or rather a trivia about the story and lesson which will appear in the quiz. Let's have this word, sinvergüenza, which means shameless. I bet you have encountered this word on the story sinigang. It's the fiction's essence that refers to conflict. And lastly, when things begin to happen in the story, that is called the rising action. Now, let's have a recap through a video clip of our lesson. Thank you for joining the class. Proceed to completing all tasks and activities. Also, prepare for this lesson quiz. See you again on the next video lessons. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye students!